Clint from the Farmer's Grove, and this is uh, one of my Zone 1 gardens here at the house, right by the front door. That uh, I mean, there's the front door. We come out. Here's where we put a lot of herbs. We always have one or two of the cherry tomato plants, so pretty much every time when we get out of the car, walk by it, we grab a handful of tomatoes, so it's kind of like candy. But I wanted to show you the cover crop. Now, this is hairy vetch. For some reason, my wife thinks that money that name is very funny. She giggles about it every time she says it. This was uh, planted along with um, uh, crimson clover inside of the beds last winter. When I got done, I planted them. This spring, this is what happens. That is a that monstrosity is an old tomato cage, and, and it grew up on the side. But look at all this beautiful biomass. All of these flowers, the bees are loving them but I'm about to take it away from them. What, the reason I do this, as crazy as this looks, when the springtime comes and I go to put my herbs and stuff that we cook with all the time inside of these beds right here by the front door, there's no grass or anything growing underneath of them. I cut it down, I drop it all right where it is, I open it up, and then I plant my plants inside. But Harry Vetch, is a killer cover crop that puts nitrogen in your soil. And look at all that biomass I'll be putting back into my beds, plus all the nitrogen. Worms are gonna love it. And I'll have mulch all at one time, stacking functions. Permaculture's cool if you just let it do its thing.